We see most of our patients getting caught in a vicious cycle. With a poor diet and insufficient physical activity, they tend to develop diabetes type 2, arteriosclerosis, and finally become dialysis patients. In order to break this cycle, we strongly believe that our patients should increase their physical activity. Und, ähm, aus, und das ist irgendwie auch so der Hauptgrund, warum wir denken, dass unsere Dialysepatienten unbedingt Sport treiben müssen. Physical exercise during dialysis sessions improves dialysis treatment, reduces blood pressure, body weight and the occurrence of lipometabolic disorders. Thus, the risk of developing dialysis typical complications such as heart attack, stroke or lower limb amputations is reduced. Für alle, alles dieses heißt Sport. Wir führen hier unser Ausdauertraining bei unseren Dialysepatienten seit Jahren mit dem Motor Met Leto durch. For many years we've been implementing endurance training with our dialysis patients. In the past two years we've been utilizing the new version Motomed Leto 2, which is the optimal device for the dialysis patient group. The elderly and the weak patients train in the passive mode at first. After a while they generally start to paddle on their own. The Motomed Leto 2 motor assistance enables even the very weak patients with limited endurance, such as amputees and heart failure patients, to exercise safely and according to their individual ability. We have been using the Motomed Leto 2 for more than two years now, and our patients love it. The Leto 2 is optimally adjustable to any individual patient and therefore also allowing for an individualized training. Alle Nephrologen sind sich einig, dass die Dialysepatienten Sport treiben sollen. Eigentlich die Frage ist jetzt, wann sollen die Patienten das Nephrologists do agree on the fact that dialysis patients should exercise, but they have split opinions when the best timing is for it, during or in between dialysis sessions. Our experience has shown that patients who see us three times per week to undergo dialysis treatment generally don't attend sports activities or go to the gym on their dialysis free days. That makes exercise during dialysis sessions even more essential and it provides many benefits. It's also easy to motivate the patients. They even motivate each other while exercising becomes a part of their dialysis. Even elderly, weak patients and amputees who wouldn't be able to do it at home can exercise while they're here. This improves their strength and walking ability and therefore decreases the risks of falls and fractures. Last but not least, they realize it provides them a unique opportunity to contribute to their personal therapy progress. They say it makes them feel happier and it improves the quality of life. On the contrary, this resonance was not reported in those patients who were unengaged while undergoing dialysis treatment. In the beginning, I didn't want to exercise at all. They had to push me a lot. However, now I'm exercising regularly and it feels great. You had been discontinuing your exercise for a while. Yes, I had. And what happened then? I wasn't really feeling well. We have not received any reports of medical complications. There were no signs of critical situations. However, in case something would ever happen, qualified nurses are always there. They're well trained to control any case of emergency. And this is not the case when patients are exercising in a regular gym, even if the doctor is present. We have the best possible treatment for our patients, especially for the weak ones. We can offer the optimal care, especially for those who are seriously ill or immobile. As the training progresses, the optimal training heart rate, 
changes continuously. Therefore, regular monitoring and testing is performed. This helps to make adaptations to individual training intensity. The Motomed Leto 2 software allows for pulse-controlled endurance training, consistently assuring an optimal training according to individual abilities. During the training sessions, the training data is automatically saved to a chip card. Afterwards, the data can be loaded to a computer. The Motomet SEM2 software allows us to track and document the patient's training progress. As an addition to that, we can say that intradialytic exercise enhances the dialysis process. There are fewer complications such as variations in blood pressure or cramps and the patients generally are more stable. Furthermore, the uremic clearance improves through this training, by which the toxins are filtered more effectively from the blood and the overall quality of the dialysis treatment is improved. These are all imperative reasons why patients should engage in exercise during the dialysis treatment. Our patients are always looking forward to the training with the Motomet Letter 2. They say it is very comfortable and it is fun to train and compete against each other. They can monitor their success during the training on the big Motomet screen, which is very motivating for them. Das interessiert sie natürlich immer sehr und es gibt auch kleine Wettrennen manchmal, also es ist sehr schön. Also wir finden alle Musik. We really love the Motomet bikes and we want them to stay here.